hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and you know, it's like Obamacare. They've been talking about how great the site is working and how well it's doing and all the people that are on it. Well, guess what? I guess they, they were sitting there thinking about this. Or, were these old talking points? Because, well, since it's been down since last week, well, I don't know. It's been down since last week, so how well could it be working? Hmm. Maybe somebody should check before they go on air. Meanwhile, we're going to bring the old cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what they said. The party is totally coming to an end. Obama has them on the run in every area. All people are talking about is is the, the shutdown and basically the other this morning. Well, housing sales are down because of the a shutdown of the government by no. Banks aren't loaning money for houses. Houses that are being sold are being sold for cash. And uh, th that's the whole trick. They're not being sold. Okay, here it is. They're buying houses for cash and then abandoning the houses, uh, which makes no sense, but that's how it's being done. The Chinese are dumping their money into the country by the tons and putting them in the ground that's going to end up being torn down. So. And Obama never misled anyone. He was misled by everyone. Well, that's the, the latest thing. That he, he's... he's, he's I love it. That they, he said that his people said that he's just been too gullible. Uh, he's trusting people, and they said uh, this is the guy that just trusted the Syrians, trusted the Iranians, trusted the Russians. He said uh, he, he he said that he, why is he pres who, Why did he get elected to president of the United States and now admit that he is gullible and believes too many people? Mm -hmm. And states joining forces to scrub at voter rolls, which didn't happen. There were no problems in the voter rolls. You know, the Justice Department will tell you that this never goes on, even though the fact that they now can prove that Obama didn't win the election because he lost some of those states. Because mm -hmm. there were people that were voting in those states that were not citizens. Mm -hmm. And EU, e, EU, U.S. spying row stokes concern over anti-terror campaign. Well, yeah, because Obama is afraid that his terror, if he can't listen in on what everybody in every country is saying, he, I love this. Well, they're just jealous that we do it so much better than they are. And then the Russians said, uh, we don't think so. The Germans said, we don't think so. The, the Israelis said, we know that they don't do it better than we do. The difference is, is we do it responsibly. Obama does it because he's just gathering information. Ah, and fanaticism is fueling conservative voters who could threaten Democrat Terry McAuliffe's political chances, former President Bill Clinton warned. Yeah, uh, he's basically, him and McCain are on the, on the campaign trail against Tea Party. The Tea Party is trying to destroy our country. Let's see, oh, what did Kirby Daddy say? He said they want you to stop spending money. Mm -hmm. What do Bill Clinton and John McCain represent? People that want to go spend money. Oop, the Obamacare site is back up in operation. Mm -hmm. At least until one person tried to use it, which is what he just said this down again. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Uh. It is now, basically they do admit that there was a mistake in what people have said. It has been down for three days, but it is now back in operation, but then it is now down because somebody actually tried to use it. Oh, that's bad. It works as long as no one comes to it. That's bad. Obama administration's... Well, you think they would test it before no, they, they put up? Sibelius said, in a, in a perfect world, it would have been tested more. The thing was, t they took three and a half years to develop something a couple of high school kids could do in a month. And they didn't start testing it. They never tested it for anybody. Okay, it had not been tested for over 75 people at a time. And what happened was it didn't even work with one. Some states, it did not work with oh, one person. And Obama administration's rubber stamping of citizenship request puts national security at risk, Immigration Union Services Union President says. Well, they keep telling Obama he's not obeying, he's decided that anybody that wants to, be, anybody that's illegal in this country can now be a citizen by executive order. I mean, all these people that spent, I mean, like, I, I, I listen to these Canadians that are here, they're, they intend to bring suit against the President of the United States when he's out of office about but he, uh, they're going to they want the money back that they spent to become citizens when they found out all you had to do was just come across the border and say no hobbly English. What? That's all you had to do was come across the border and say even though you look like you're you know you look like you're a Scotsman from Aberdeen Scotland and you speak with an accent you just have to say no hobbly English. 
And they would have given you an automatic citizenship. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And data center glitches, the latest problem in Obamacare rollout. Oh yeah. Don't worry about it. The hub is in operation. Which means you can come to the site and it's got a picture, but you can't Ooh. sign in. And Sandy swallows up New York community. Yeah, if you were a Republican, if you're a community, communities that were heavily Republican, they're not being allowed to be rebuilt. Only, only people that are skewing Democratic are being rebuilt. And Germany and Brazil to propose anti-spying resolution at UN. Yeah, now Spain has joined in with them today, and France is joining in with them. And, Basically, the United States has got no friends anywhere. I mean, they said that here's how all you got to do is run. Okay, Clinton cannot, no Democrat can run. Uh, if you put up a halfway reasonable Republican, they win the election based on the fact we have to undo all the damage that President Obama has done to the country. And it was not the Tea Party that did it. It was President Obama and his outreach program. Mm -hmm. And banners reflect a hardline backlash in Iran. Yeah, basically, um, the the the, back, the the hardliners are in troll, control people. They were putting they put pictures up about cooperation between the United States and the Iranian government. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, what did the Israelis just announce about ten minutes ago? It looks like within the next month they will have their first nuclear weapon created in. Iran within the next month. Mm -hmm. And Airbus chief eyes over taking Boeing in production by 2018. Not likely. You know how you know it's not likely? How? They have they, they need 700 million dollars in cash from the British government in order to keep it running. Mm -hmm. They're not making any money. It's basically they're they're trying to collect subsidies from all the European countries to keep Airbus operational. Because it can't, it can't build anything it's selling at the moment. Oh. Yeah. And Britain backs off ordering breakup of RBS reports. Uh, because the Royal Bank of Scotland is somewhat unhappy because they think it's being done in retaliation because they're wanting to become a... That what, when they become an independent nation, they take the North Sea oil with them. Oh. That's off of Scotland, folks. Oh. Yeah. That's really important to know, right? That's right. And Wall Street's love affair with Facebook hinges on mobile. They can't, mobile doesn't work. I mean, I can guarantee you that nothing on Facebook... Uh, I mean, I get these targeted ads for senior citizen dating organizations and end-of-life counseling, you know. <laughs> that's what... And, I, and nobody, here's the thing is, I, I know nobody has ever actually read one of the ads that Facebook puts up on you. They don't read them. You don't read them? Why? I mean, I don't click... Okay. <laughs> No one clicks links. Yeah. Since no one clicks links, putting something up that you have to click is really stupid. Sibylia is to face tough questioning on health law. She's not gonna. Her response is, "I have no real. I have uh, no responsibility. It was, uh, these were people that basically were not under my control, and that I was never given the never given the control by the president of the United States uh, or the White House to do this." So. And the White House basically will say, well, the Department of Health and Human Resources is put in control and she's in charge of it. And then she will then she will say, I have no personal control. So they're just trying to act. Here's the wow. plan. They said that so many people are going to love Obamacare, even though if you weren't paying for insurance before, you're now paying as much as $5,000 a year for insurance that you weren't paying before, that they're going to overwhelmingly support Obamacare. The one guy's the expert said that within three years it will be gone. And legal or not, industrial hemp harvested in Colorado. They don't care about the laws anymore. Obama opened the floodgates. You're going to be seeing poppy fields being put in uh, desolate areas in this country soon and government subsidies going to the people illegally growing heroin. And a Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Um, the, if you don't read the information sent to you, you're almost always likely to give people the false information. 